The city of Christchurch again plays host to a Super Rugby final as the defending champions, the Crusaders, play the Juarez from Argentina. This is the 24th Super Rugby Grand Final. Crusaders looking to make it title number 10. Number nine breaking away from the scrum and not going behind and, eight. And uh, Bryn eight Hall, the man penalised. So here is the first scoring opportunity of the final. Yes, Benicia with the first kick and uh, brings it round beautifully. And the Hawaris have the lead. Another kick coming here from Bryn Hall. Diaz Benicia. And he down he goes. And this could be a more. Here turned over his mate. He's been turned over here. Sam White looking a bit of space. Got it away to Taylor. Cody Taylor. First try of the final. You can see here how Vili's on him, Todd's on him. Look at Todd's hands. So Todd's hands are wrapped around the ball and he rips it free. Places it down, scooped up by Kieran Reid. Whitelock puts the hammer down, draws in two defenders, still had some work to do to get rid of Cabelli Taylor, but it's enough and he crashes over. Really testing this Crusaders defence. Here's Benicia again, Bofelli, Matera. Got his pass away cleverly, here's an opportunity. And very close was Moroni and he lost it. What a superb tackle from David Harvelli. And equally, what an outstanding offload. A tackle that needed to be made was made by David Harvelli right around the hips. He hangs on, Brynhall over the top. A try scoring tackle that needed to be made. The Crusaders survive. And a penalty. Well, they've been rewarded, the Crusaders. Richie Moonga. Just before half time. And he does land the extra three points. And the players head to the sheds at the end of 40 minutes in the final. And the Crusaders have the lead by 10 points to three. Good ball retention as Cabelli gets it away. And uh, frees it up for Moroni. And the right winger puts the little kick in. Looks as though to get it back through the pass. It's loose. And Goodhue's grabbed it, but I think he's taken it back. Yes, he has. Oh, wow, that was very spectacular. Well timed. De La Fuente, nice flick on for Matera, who's absolutely everywhere. Moroni puts the foot down off the right foot. Lovely chip. Regathers back on the inside. Can't find his man, who is Moroni, his centre partner. You can see there. The work from Goodhue to get back, but he carries it back. Oh, they're dangerous. They've come out with some intent. Ball in hand. Good to see. Oh, I love his positivity. And the quick tap. Here they go. Now, can the referee see it? Let's have a look. There's no clear evidence here to suggest that it's down, so I think we'll stick with the on-field call. Well, that's the best view. That clearly shows it not going to ground. On-field decision. Yeah, nothing conducive. Correct. Your ball out of the goal line. Your ball. Big scrum here. And the scrum has come up. This will be a penalty. At least a penalty. Second penalty goal tonight for Richie Moonga. Number seven. And that's going to be offside against Kremer, I think it was. Packing on the wrong angle. Moonga goes high. For a lost forward. And so back they'll go for the penalty. Two players. Moonga to increase the lead. Third penalty goal tonight for Richie Moonga. As Kura gets it in. Now, a little kick through, and here's a real opportunity if it stays in. Doesn't. Wow. Yep. And just the weight of the okay. kick, you can see it was just a little too flat. And unfortunately, the, yeah, as you mentioned, there's both the bounce of the rugby ball, that first couple of skips that it took on the greasy surface. 
gave it momentum rather than stopping it. Good scrum here, Crusaders. And they're going to get a penalty out of this. And he has nailed it. What a good kick that is. And into touch it goes. And the Crusaders win a 10th title. Magnificent scenes here as we're right in the middle of the Crusaders as they have won the Super Rugby title for the third time on the bounce.